there can be a lot of things that stop us in, for podcasting. A lot of times we can just get in our head because we're comparing ourselves to other people and their podcasts. They have all this equipment. They have all these things. You might be intimidated or afraid of the technology that you're using, different programs or microphones or whatever. The biggest thing that I hear is that people feel like they don't have time to podcast. And the reality is all of that is understandable, but you really do have time. You just have to be a little creative and a little resourceful in how you can utilize that time to record and prepare and produce your podcast. So the first step that we wanna focus on is one, prep before recording. It's so important that you prep before you record. Just like with anything, the more you prep up front, the easier and smoother things can be on the back end. One suggestion I have is to outline what you wanna talk about in your podcast episodes. And that really can be intro, couple of bullet points, and an outro. Something simple. All depends on what you want to talk about in your podcast episode. For me, I have an intro, I have whatever I want to talk about in the middle, and then I have an outro. And the more detail that you have these points, it can make it easier for you to communicate and to be able to get your point across. And now, for some people, you may not want to write down every word because you don't want to be reading a script, which actually is fine. If you want to sit down and read a script or read an essay or something like that, that's perfectly fine for doing podcasting. There are so many different ways to do a podcast there and there is no wrong or right way to do it. The other thing I would recommend in prepping before you record is practice. Go through your notes, go through your outline and make sure you have all the things that you really do want to say and maybe actually practice saying what you're trying to say in your podcast before you hit record. And if you have questions about what recording setup works best for you, I'll put a link for another video somewhere here, <laughs> somewhere here in the video that you can go and check that out. I have another video about the best recording setup and which one might be best for you. Along with practicing, you definitely wanna have an intro and an outro for your podcast. And an intro and an outro can be super simple. It can be something as easy as just saying your name, the name of your podcast and telling your audience, this is what you're gonna be talking about. So for me, my podcast do make something. I would say something like, welcome to the do make something show. My name is Jamal Calpin. Today, we're gonna to talk about chicken tenders. I don't know, we wouldn't talk about chicken tenders, but that's you know just an idea. And then after I go through the body of the main portion of the content of my podcast, I would come to the outro and would just be like, thanks for listening to the do make something podcast. I'm your host, Jamal Calpin. Hope you guys stay safe. Yada, 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 yada. And you maybe you can add like your social media information if you want to put your Twitter or Facebook or whatever, or even a website. That's something that you would include in your outro. Once you have that stuff set and written down to go along with your outline, it makes it again so much easier for your podcast to be ready to share with the world. Get all of that stuff while you're recording so that you don't have to go back and change anything or re-record something. Just follow that script and you'll be good to go. Another thing in prepping before you're recording is you want to make sure you're in the proper place to record your podcast. I have another video that talks about where are you recording your podcast, and I'll put another tab or image or something somewhere so that you can have access to that because where you record is super important, and that will actually help you to save time when it comes to editing and different things like that. You want to make sure you're in a place that's quiet, um, that doesn't have a lot of noise and distraction, and has minimal ambient sound. Suggestion could be like a clothes closet or sometimes recording in your car can be a good way. Once you identify where you're going to record, it can be easier to help you schedule when you're going to record. And um, that recording time can be like, for example, if you are recording in your car, maybe you can record while you're on a commute to work or while you're running errands or something like that. Hey, you already got that time, might as well use it for something else. Another thing to do when prepping before you record, make sure to test your audio. So even if you're using your phone to record, or if you're using laptop and some other stuff, do a test record first, because the most frustrating and heartbreaking thing is to record an awesome podcast episode and everything sounds right or whatever, but then you didn't record anything. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you're recording. And you want to make sure that your your microphone's working, your phone is working, everything's working fine. So do like a one to two minute test before, play it back just to make sure that your stuff works. Because again, that I'm telling you, it is the most irritating thing to think you're recording and you're not. If in your podcast, you're interviewing somebody, just like I just mentioned before, test your equipment. If you're doing a Zoom call or something like that, make sure to do a test record before you actually start recording the podcast. So even if it's just, a couple of minutes of you know you guys just doing some chit chat or whatever, record it because you want to make sure that you're actually getting that content because 
Again, you don't want to have an awesome and an amazing conversation and you didn't record any of it. You definitely don't want that. Also double check the availability of the, the person that you're interviewing because assuming that you know you downloaded this guy because you have limited or no time, you don't want to waste your time rescheduling and going back and forth. You want to make sure that you're, you're, the person that you're interviewing is available and that you have that window of time to work with. Along with that, make sure you have some pre-written questions. For a lot of interviews, interviews that are done on podcasts, they're very conversational. But if you only have an hour or 30 minutes or even 15 minutes to talk to somebody you want to talk to, make sure to have some questions ready, even if they are questions to inspire more questions in the conversation. But have a few questions that will help you um, and prepare you for recording your podcast. Again, as much as you can do in preparation beforehand will help make everything smoother and help you to utilize um, the time that you do have and use it more effectively. The second thing is when you're trying to record a podcast, when you have limited or no time, is that you wanna try to record more than one episode during that time. Because your time is limited, you wanna squeeze in as much as you can. So if you can only find an hour, some point during the week, to record your podcast, whether that's early in the morning or late in the evening, or like I mentioned, like on your commute to work or something like that, within that window of time, you can record, try to record more than one episode. With your prep work done, you can knock out two to three episodes at a time. If you have your outline, if you have your equipment tested and everything's all set, you can just go back to back to back. Intro, points, outro, done. Intro, points, outro, done intro, and so on and so forth. As long as you have it tight and you've done that preparatory work beforehand, it'll be easier for you to knock out that stuff. Also remember, a podcast doesn't have to be long to be good. Some podcasts are hours long and others are only five minutes. The overall goal is to clearly communicate your message to your audience. Don't worry about the time. Just make sure you're providing valuable content to your listeners. Again, if you only have 30 minutes a week or you know, some time here and there. Think about condensing your points and making sure it's full of value to the best that you can with what you have. And, you know, as you continue to develop your podcast and you get more listeners and things like that, and you are able to create more time, then you can go more in depth and you can have longer podcasts with longer details. But if all you have is an hour a week, try to make uh, your messages and your content more succinct and punchy and full of vital and uh, entertaining content so that your audience can feel uh, satisfied with your with what you're creating and with what you're sharing. Just as a note, the sweet spot or average amount of time for most podcasts is between 15 to 30 minutes. On the long end, it's 40 minutes. And that's typically based off of the time that people have for a commute. Most people listen to podcasts while they're commuting or while they're like exercising or doing chores around the house. It doesn't matter how long it is people will definitely download your podcast and listen to it. The third thing is to edit later. Oftentimes, the idea of editing your podcast after recording it and all that stuff, after doing your prep work, editing is something that really turns people off because they think the editing process will take a very long time or they don't know anything about editing and they don't really want to deal with it, you know? But the thing is, you don't have to edit right away. Just like you schedule time to record, schedule time to edit and then take your time while you're editing. You can go back and get rid of stuff or whatever you need to do. And also an option is you can hire somebody to edit your podcast for you. If you have, you know, uh, extra cash or money to invest in your podcast, you can hire an editor using services like Upwork or Fiverr.com where you can hire somebody to edit your podcast because you don't have the time to do so. When you're editing later on, make sure to use your outline to help you edit. Sometimes when you, you've made the outline of your points, but maybe you've kind of gone on a tangent about something. While you're listening and editing your podcast, maybe you realize that some of the stuff you're talking about isn't really helping to the overall message that you're trying to communicate in your podcast. So use that outline that you created to cut away the things that aren't on that outline, the things that aren't adding to the content that's going to be um, helpful or beneficial to your audience. Use that outline that you spent so much time prepping beforehand to guide what you need to cut or leave in. Because at the end of the day, you wanna make sure your key points are being conveyed, all right? And for number four, go live. For those who don't wanna do any editing, <laughs> this is an option. If you don't wanna deal with editing or would like to minimize a lot of technical things, record your podcast live and let the cards fall where they may. 
as of recently, especially because of the pandemic and things like that, a lot of people have started streaming, live streaming, and going live on various social media outlets or different platforms. So live streaming is easier than ever to do. You can use apps like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and even Anchor. The Anchor app allows you to record um, your podcast live. And also, there are ways to do it without being on camera which I know for some people, the idea of going live, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, people are gonna have to see my face. Like, I don't wanna do that. Like, one of the reasons I wanna do a podcast is that I don't have to show my face. Well, you can still do that using Facebook and YouTube by using programs like StreamYard. And I will put a link in the description where you can go and sign up for a free StreamYard, StreamYard account where you can actually um, connect a Facebook or a YouTube channel so that you can stream. And with that streaming, you can just put up a little icon and just talk and your face doesn't have to be there at all. And there are lots of people who have created large followings, uh, podcast followings and YouTube and Facebook followings without even showing their face. And so you can do the same thing and it doesn't require any editing on your part. And you can take the outline that you created and just go live, record your podcast and then save it for later. And with all of those things, you can always download a copy of what you streamed and upload it to uh, a podcasting website. And last, number five, don't edit at all. So similar to the fourth tip, if you don't wanna edit and you don't wanna go live, just submit whatever you recorded. It seems kinda odd, but people really do enjoy auth authenticity and raw content. Just make sure to spend a lot of time prepping up front so when you record, it flows smoothly. Remember to take your time while recording you don't have to rush. Again, at the end of the day, most listeners are more interested in what you have to share. As long as they can hear you clearly and the ideas are coherent, you are good to go. So yeah, you can get your phone, record your podcast, and just upload it. You don't have to edit anything. People just wanna hear you. They wanna hear your story. They wanna hear your ideas. They wanna hear whatever you're discussing. As long as they can do that, I'm sure they will definitely enjoy your podcast.